As we told you earlier, NASA is scheduled to launch a new era in lunar exploration right around this time tomorrow morning. The Artemis One mission to orbit the moon comes in the midst of a tense international space race, complicated by conflict here on Earth. NBC News senior international correspondent Keir Simmons has our Sunday Spotlight as part of the NBC News series, Return to the Moon. Zero and lift off of space The dream flight. for space exploration has been to stay out of politics. For decades, astronauts from around the world working together. Three, two, one, go towards... Discovering the new frontier. But the global space race is now heating up. The U.S. plans to launch an uncrewed capsule to the moon on Monday, while South Korea sent its first spacecraft to skim the lunar surface earlier this month, a $180 million mission. And India and Japan are not far behind, preparing for their own moon expeditions this year. Russia also has its sights on the cosmos. President Putin told me last year the country, once a space partner with the U.S., is committed to collaboration. The cooperation between our two countries in space is a great example of a situation where, despite any kind of problems in political relationships, it's an area where we have been able to maintain and preserve the partnership and both parties cherish it. But Russia announced in July its intention to leave the International Space Station and build its own orbital post. Sanctions from the country's war in Ukraine, industrial rot and its breakaway from cooperation with the West may make the giant leap impossible. And lift off. Lift off. Russia is left with few options, not able to independently explore the galaxy. The country is looking at a junior partnership with China's space program. China is building its own space station. China and Russia have already agreed to build a moon base together by 2035. The Chinese-Russian partnership could be just another tactic in the space race. I think the only reason China would bring a country like Russia on board would just be for that you know, geopolitical cooperation, nothing real technical that they would need um, from Russia that they couldn't do themselves. U.S. astronaut Scott Kelly spent time with Russian space explorers on the International Space Station. He said politics weren't an issue in space and that he trusted the Russian cosmonauts with his life. But he said Russian-U.S. space collaboration has always had its challenges. Our relationship with Russia is practically non-existent with the exception of the space program and they're not reliable partners. They, uh, you know, consistently lie, they commit crimes, they commit, you know, all these immoral acts and I think that has, uh, has an effect. Is the breakup inevitable, an inevitable divorce? They're probably not going to leave in 2024. It's going to take a while longer. But I do think we're probably close to maybe showing them the door at some point, depending on the actions that Putin takes in Ukraine. Lift off of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket. As international space cooperation dissolves, countries race to forge their own path to the moon, Mars, and beyond. For Sunday Today, Keir Simmons, New York. Keir, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.